One of the biggest questions we want to understand if we want to understand the impact of climate, what will happen to the sea level. And ice sheets are currently big contributors to sea level rise and we expect that their contribution will be even bigger in the future. Using all the laser altimetry data collected by NASA during the last more than 20 years, we were able to create the first complete reconstruction of the changes of the Greenland ice sheet. Our research shows that uh, the current climate and ice sheet models are too simplistic to capture future changes, especially future contribution of ice sheet melt to sea level rise. My personal opinion is that uh, most of the predictions, at least as far as Greenland is concerned, are too low, and uh, understanding the processes will probably mean that we will get actually bigger contribution. The, most of the predictions really don't give much uh, future ice loss from South East Greenland. Our results show that it's a very active area. We believe that that region still can contribute to sea level rise. How much, we don't know. But we have the data to start to do those model studies and figure it out. Current models uh, for predicting future changes of the ice sheet are using four big glaciers, which are very well researched. Looking at four glaciers, studying four glaciers only, is not sufficient to understand the whole ice sheet. But we see that glaciers which are next to each other are not necessarily behaving the same way and even not necessarily changing at the same time. So picking up one glacier from a group in a region might or might not be representative. It is really very clear that changes are happening very quickly. We are looking at a 20-year record, which is very short. And during that 20 years, really enormous changes occurred.